Hello, this is Squadaloo today with something a little bit different here. Uh, as you can see, we're playing Pikmin. Uh, and as you see by these controllers, uh, even though they're wrong, because um, I'm using the Oculus headset, uh, we're playing Pikmin in VR. Now, originally I was planning on doing a whole video on this that was more of a produced tutorial on how to set this up. Uh, but I realized after I recorded about an hour and a half of B-roll to put with that video that basically normal gameplay in this looks terrible in 2D uh, without any sort of explanation or if I'm being very, very careful to kind of show exactly what's happening. Uh, so I'm decided to just kind of do this informal video to show this off. And then I think I'm going to have to just like throw up a website written tutorial on the settings that I use to get this. Um, now, I should note that this, before we get too far into it, this is third-person VR only. It does not work in first-person for Pikmin 1 uh, because, well, we'll talk about it a little bit in the game. Uh, that does work for Pikmin 2, and so I'll make a separate video on that. Um, but really what this is, is, um, well, Pikmin, uh, for those of you who are unaware, um, takes place on Earth, uh, and... The game world, uh, your characters, Pikmin and Olimar, are all really, really small. They're about, he's, I think it's like three quarters of an inch tall or something. Um, so I adjusted the scale of the game world to be that size. Uh, and I also enabled some codes to disable culling. Uh, so I can see basically an entire map at once. Um, this is helpful for multiple reasons. Uh, first of all, it's helpful because... Uh, you get to see, well, you get to see the entire map at once. Uh, you can manage multitasking easier because you can kind of just like look around um, the map and see how your other Pikmin are doing. Uh, but also it's just kind of cool because you can make Olimar the proper size and you can get a sense for how big each of the creatures are really supposed to be. So let's get into the game without further ado. Um, already you can kind of see, uh, let me just... Uh, I'm not sure if my controller is actually on here because I can't see outside of the headset. There we go. The Xbox controller is on now. Um, so even here on the title screen, if I get up out of my chair, move forward, you can see that I am able to move. Uh, and you can also see the title screen is a lie and there are no actual Pikmin beneath those flowers. So let's go ahead and start. Um... And I have a few files in here. Uh, I've actually been playing the whole game in VR. Um, I'm on day 11, and I just have the impact site, uh, the positron generator, and the final trial left, uh, which is actually on pace for my best finish of this game ever. Um, let's go ahead and make a new file here. Um, and we're in. Um, now, this does have a 60 frames per second mod as well. Um, and this mod actually works with the cutscenes, unlike the 60 frames per second mod of Pikmin 2. Uh, and right at the beginning, you kind of get a fun thing here in VR, because all of our flies directly at our face, so I can move out of the way. There we go. And the meteor kind of comes out of my face there. Um, unfortunately, I can't really skip the cutscene. Uh, but right off the bat, um, obviously you can tell there's a little bit of goofiness here because it's in VR. Um, you can, you can tell that it's like a mix of flat textures and 3D items. Uh, and obviously there's edges. <laughs> this one's also kind of funny because you can see the texture just kind of like moves up for the background. You can kind of see it there. I'm staring forward with the whole thing sliding upward. So it gives you a little bit of sense behind the scenes of what the game is doing. Uh, and yeah, we're at the impact site. And here we have Olimar, who is probably about six inches from my face right now. If I move in, oh, obviously these cutscenes aren't really meant uh, to be seen like this. Or this game isn't really meant to be played like this, so obviously uh, you should be pretty well versed with VR before doing this because your head's going to be doing some weird things. But here, if I just stand up out of my chair... I can pretty much just move wherever I want. And uh, the real reason I enabled my controllers here, let me wake one of them up, is 
that right there uh, is the size of a five wand uh, next to Captain Olimar at the size that I have him, which I think is pretty close to canonically how big he is supposed to be. I don't really know exactly how great this is showing on camera. Um, but yeah, and then just next to his ship. Uh, obviously, uh, there's some in, uh, issues here. Uh, game never really intended the camera to look up. You can see that there's no ceiling to the skybox. Uh, and the background is just a solid image all around. Um, I can't adjust the camera yet. Um, this, I can tell you right now, this looks far less playable in 2D than it actually is. Um, I know from earlier reviewing the 2D footage that Olimar looks absolutely, like, tiny and it looks unwatchable, but in VR it's actually very much playable. Um, but yeah, so let's go ahead and meet the Red Pikmin here. Skip past all the text for now. Okay, now I can move the camera. Uh, I should note that I've actually made some modifications to the game's camera. Um, before, when you zoom out between the three zoom levels, it would actually rotate the world a little bit. Uh, I coded it so it doesn't do that. Uh, and I also coded the closest zoom in to be a little closer uh, than it normally is in Pikmin. And this, right now, I could basically just reach forward and eat that if I really wanted to, <laughs> in terms of the size. Um, but yeah, so let's go ahead and meet the red Pikmin. Uh, he could see here a little bit behind the scenes of the cutscene. He's not actually standing on the ground, this cutscene. None of the meet the Pikmin cutscenes are actually correct. Uh, but you can still skid a little sense of this tiny little guy here. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and make some Pikmin here. No, I told you to pick that up, bud. Um, but yeah, uh, so, oh, well, give it a second here to do this little cutscene. Um, so yeah, this is basically, uh, the game as it is. Um, now I mentioned before that I actually have some culling codes on, uh, so basically it renders everything in map at once. What that means is in normal play in Pikmin, here I am all the way zoomed out, um, the way the game normally works is it hides anything that isn't kind of just outside the camera view. Um, but here I can just take a look around and see the entire map and everything. Uh, we can even see way off there in the distance the positron generator inside the pearly clam clamp is actually here on day one, uh, but uh, none of the other clams are. Um, and there's the uh, main engine right down there. Um, let's zoom back in so it's a little more watchable for you while I pick some Pikmin. Uh, now, with earlier I said something about how first-person mode doesn't work in Pikmin 1, but it works in Pikmin 2. Uh, now, if I move all of my little forward, you see how there's a giant black area that's like enveloping the onion as I get close to it? Um, so Pikmin 1 tries to cull anything that gets too close to the camera and make it invisible. Um, now, Dolphin VR does have a setting to disable near... Uh, or tries to clip, I should say, not call clip. Um, it tries to clip anything that gets too close to the camera. Um, Dolphin VR does have a setting to disable near clipping, which is enabled right now. However, all that does is instead of making it invisible, it just makes everything like black or the color of like the fog um, whenever it gets too close to the camera, which is why a first person mode doesn't actually work in Pikmin 1, because as far as I've been able to tell, there's no way to disable this. So everything in your immediate vicinity would kind of look like this. Uh, let me just kind of lean down here. It would kind of look like this, except everything's at the wrong scale right now. Um, so Pikmin's kind of just staring directly at Olimar, wondering what the hell's uh, happening. Um, but yeah, that's why it doesn't work in Pikmin 1, but it does work in Pikmin 2. Uh, I'll make a separate video on that. Um, it's not exactly the most recommended way to play Pikmin, because it's almost impossible to manage the Pikmin. Um, but let's just go ahead and finish this day out here. Uh, I think, yeah, there's the one up there. Oh, 
I keep forgetting in Pikmin 1, if you throw them at the pellet posy, once they destroy it, they come back to you instead of just picking up the thing. Uh, I'm literally all the way through the game and I still keep forgetting that that happens. Uh, and I also have to remember to be zoomed in or else you can't really see. Bud? Are you kidding me? You... Bud. It's right there. Okay. <laughs> That's some Pikmin 1 bullcrap there. <laughs> Pikmin are very stupid in this game. Um, but yeah, uh, so it's still, um, just one of the fun things about this, uh, little mod here, let me let that guy get his thing, um, is you can kind of just make a plan for what you're going to do next because of the culling stuff. So, like, in the normal game, you can see the UI there. Uh, roughly at this zoom level, you would just be able to see, basically imagine a little rectangle around the UI. Um, and that would be all you'd be able to see in the main game. Uh, although, obviously, I've adjusted this camera to be more zoomed in. Uh, this would be more likely what you would see. Everything around that. But obviously, uh, I'm not limited to that. So I can look over and say, okay, next I'm going to get that pellet. And so you can kind of just plan ahead without really having a look. And also here, this idiot is going to pick it up. There we go. Uh, I'm over here plucking Pikmin, but I can sit here and watch how the little lads are doing. Uh, even though they'd be well off screen normally. Uh, and I feel like I'm missing a pellet, but I guess I'm not. Um, this will at least give us enough to push the box. I wonder if I can reach that one up there with some bullcrap. Uh, yeah, it wouldn't matter because I might soft lock myself. Um, <laughs> if he lands on the other side of the box. Uh, now on the first day of Pikmin, uh, the camera changes size when you're plucking Pikmin. That doesn't happen normally, uh, so that's why it kind of keeps zooming in and out. Um, because I forgot to edit that setting. But here, let's take the lab. Another good thing within Pikmin 1 is I could see that guy tripped. And I can keep an eye on him, even though he's not even on camera in the normal game. Uh, so I found myself much less likely to leave Pikmin behind in a stupid area. Uh, since trying this in VR, also I don't know why Olimar's just staring away from the action that he is. Alright, so we got the layouts. Now, uh, the top-down view does still work, obviously. Uh, I didn't really adjust it, because ideally you wouldn't want to really use it. Um, it's a little less helpful anyways, because you get a better sense of height uh, with the 3D depth of the camera. Why? I have not had this many problems in this entire playthrough of Pikmin being this dumb in terms of picking up these pellets. I don't know what the hell their problem is. Um, but yeah, uh, so this is pretty much the game. Uh, I'll jump ahead um, after we collect our first part here. Things looking a little bit confused here with the, the parts all unloaded. And we can see over there the guy with the one pellet. Boys, you can stay there and watch that. I'm going to move up ahead. Good job, lads. Doing a fine work. And now you're in the void. But yeah, uh, it's been a blast playing this game again. I honestly, I think I enjoy this game more each time I play it, even though the Pikmin AI also drives me up a wall sometimes. Uh, I do actually like this game more than Pikmin 2. Uh, and it never used to be that way as a kid. I always thought Pikmin 2 was way better, but as an adult, I have much larger appreciation for the need to multitask in Pikmin 1, and so I kind of just find it more rewarding than going through the caves in Pikmin 2. Uh, and you also don't have to deal with a bunch of bombs and rocks falling on your head every 10 seconds uh, in Pikmin 1, which is nice. Um, so yeah, we got enough to grab the engine, so let's go ahead and grab the engine. Let's make sure they all find their spot. There they did. See you later, lads. I'm gonna go take a nap over here. Um, but yeah, this is pretty much it. As I said, I'll create a little website that has the list of settings that I used for this, along with the modding instructions for how to get the different camera zoom levels working a little differently. 
Oh, I can't actually lie down yet. I just realized in the first day I can't hold down on the D-pad. Uh, but yeah, we'll be bringing in the main engine there shortly. Good job, boys. Very good job. Watch the whole thing. I love the way the ship looks in this in 3D. <laughs> and oh, we'll probably go into challenge mode after this. Uh, so we can take a look at some like bull orbs and bull bears and everything. There's the size of a 5-1 compared to the uh, onion, in case you were interested. Bye, lads. I love how wobbly the ship is on the first day, and then the more parts you add, the better it gets. I love a lot of the vibes of this game. I honestly, doing this most recent playthrough, I, I think this might be my favorite GameCube game. Um, I just have more fun every time I play it. Uh, yeah, sure, save. We're probably never going to continue that file again anyway, but whatever. Anyways, let's go ahead and skip over to... Skip over... Oh, right. I have to pause and not hit B. Um, go ahead and skip over to challenge mode here. I, I love this challenge mode intro because these stars that appear just fly directly at your face. And it looks super cool in VR. Those stars. Like, whoa! Um, obviously, we don't have everything here. Uh, I'll top into the force of hope. I'm definitely not going to do a whole run of this. This is just going to be quick. Just to run around and see some enemies. They aren't loaded in yet, but they'll load in here soon. Um, yeah. So, as you can see, uh, if I recall correctly, um, the way Pikmin normally works is if enemies are called off camera, some of them will stop like doing things uh so i guess in that sense you could say this mod makes things harder because you have to keep more of an eye on enemies that are would normally be deactivated uh i could be completely wrong in that assessment though um so i don't know um but it also helps because you can kind of just see what you're doing as i said earlier i'm just gonna run around um run up to some dwarf full warps hey buds Nice, cute little buddies. Uh, we got the big one here, and the bubbles are nice and... They're not really 3D, obviously, they're like 2D texture, but they fly around in 3D. Where's my controller here? There you go. <laughs> the key's a little longer than one five wand, I guess. Uh, assuming that the person who made Dolphin VR modeled it correctly. So there you go. There's your little size assessment there from the bulb board. Stick, <laughs> stick the little ring around his eyeball. It's not really working the way I want it to. Uh, obviously, we got the curly clam flames. Uh, but it's just really nice. Uh, if I can zoom out here, obviously you can't really tell what's going on with Olimar because of how far away he looks. But it's just really nice that I can look around and be like, okay, what do we have? We got a bull, bull bear over there. We got bull borb over there. Uh, I could see the pearly clam clamp way over there where the radiation canopy would be. You probably can't make that out at all, along with the bull bear. Um, the 20 pellet there, or the blue. It just, it actually makes the world, obviously it makes the world feel smaller because I physically made the world feel smaller compared to, like, the controller there. Um, but it also, like, gives you, it's hard to explain, it gives me a better sense of place where I am in this map in distance because normally when I'm playing this game I feel like this lake here that I'm running through with Olimar is like huge and it's not at all and it gives me a better sense of how far I can go and what amount of time and how much I can carry um, which is part of why I credit it to um, I, I give Part of the VR, the credit for how fast I've been going through the game this time. Um, 
I'm on track to beat the game in like 12 days. I think my previous best record was like 16, so I've cut quite a few days out. Uh, the one buggy thing that I've noticed, though, is the way, and I don't know if this is the VR or the 60 frames per second patch. Kind of have to move away from the bulb here there because he's getting stuck in the camera void there. Um, Wallywogs seem to behave very oddly with this mod enabled. Uh, I have literally never seen a Pikmin been able to get crushed by a white Wallywog in this. And they have a problem getting crushed by yellow Wallywogs unless it's on a slope, in which case it just murders Pikmin that are anywhere near it. Um... I don't know if that's general Pikmin 1 wackiness, but I don't remember it being that bad in Pikmin 1. I mean, I literally at one point was running under white Wally Bugs as Olimar and just standing there, and they couldn't they couldn't hurt me at all. Um, the yellow one seemed to have been able to, so I don't know what the hell's going on there. Um, as I said, I don't know. That might be the VR having an issue. That might be... Because... Dolphin VR is based on a very old version of uh, Dolphin, so it could be an emulation problem. Uh, I, If I were a betting man, I'd say it's the 60 frames per second patch. Let me get that guy up. It's also funny because you can tell some of these animations are uh, like keyframed at 30 frames per second. Like when the bull board wakes up, you can tell that he's still at 30 frames per second, and then when he starts waddling, he's 60. Uh, same for plucking Pikmin. Like that was at the half frame rate. Him yawning. Like, wake up. That's at 30 frames per second. And now he's moving at 60 frames per second. So it's a little funny in that regard. Uh, again, this is why the first person doesn't work. Because he gets anywhere near my camera. And he just kind of becomes a mess. Uh, but yeah. So that's pretty much Pikmin in VR. How I've been playing it. Uh, I'd highly recommend if you are interested in this game and you have a VR headset trying this out, I'll post a link to a site, hopefully in the coming days here, if not before this video is already out, that shows the settings I used here. And next time I'll be showing Pikmin 2, which will be a very different beast because you can play it like this, but you can also actually play Pikmin 2 in first person, full scale VR, running around as Olimar and Louie. Um, super janky, though. <laughs> I'm, I'm not sure I would really uh, recommend playing the whole game like that, because you're probably going to get your ass kicked. Um, but we'll see you next time. So thank you very much for watching. Hopefully this was interesting for someone. Uh, we'll watch all of our hump the air, I guess. I don't... I never really noticed how much he flops. What the, what the hell's wrong with you, buddy? Uh, but anyways, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you later. Bye.